Now, ABC 7 News weather anchor Spencer Christian has known Jimmy Carter since the late 1980s, and we've talked about this. You got to know him during your time at Good Morning America. I, I did indeed. My first interview with him was in 1988 mm -hmm. uh, at the Carter Presidential Library in Atlanta uh, on the grounds of the library. And we had several interviews. Oh, this picture is from his 75th birthday celebration in uh, 1999 in Americus, Georgia. Uh, I was the I was fortunate enough to be the MC of that event. Wow. Uh, and then 20 years later, I emceed his uh, 95th birthday celebration also in Americus, Georgia. But uh, our first interview in, in 1988 mm -hmm. and then a couple of years later, uh, I interviewed uh, both President and Mrs. Carter mm -hmm. at uh, one of the homes they were building for Habitat for Humanity. Here, this one is from the uh, uh, 2019 95th. In fact, this was a joint celebration of President Carter's 95th birthday and Mrs. Carter's 92nd birthday. Oh my goodness. Um, and uh, so we did, went to the uh, site of the Habitat for Humanity build mm -hmm. uh, as they were building a house in Washington, D.C. Uh, we did, uh, I've stayed there for the remainder of the day after the interview and got to know them better personally. And then in 2010, you see the video here, uh, he appeared on The View from the Bay, a program that we did here at ABC7. Mm -hmm. uh, he was promoting one of his books. He's a prolific author. He's written dozens of books. Mm -hmm. uh, this book was entitled, uh, There Can Be Peace in the Holy Land. And uh, so I've had lots of interaction, been very fortunate, <laughs> lots of interaction with uh, the Carters and especially with President Carter over the years. And he's just a remarkable person, uh, arguably the finest person I've ever met. Yes, and one of the stories that you told me was how he stays at public events. He's not just there for show. He genuinely believes in the cause that he donates his oh, time for. Absolutely. Well, he's, he's devoted his entire life, especially mm -hmm. his post-presidency, to uh, projects to elevate the quality of life mm -hmm. for uh, impoverished people around the world. But when he when he and Mrs. Carter go to these uh, Habitat for Humanity builds, mm -hmm. they call them, they, they're not there for the cameras. They're not for, there yeah. for publicity. He wants you to get those cameras out of my face and let me work. <laughs> let me hammer some nails. Uh, he's, he's serious about that work, and he is seriously committed to being a, um, a, a faithful servant. Let's that put it is that so way. special. Yeah. And also when it comes to your relationship, were you able to reach out to anyone it's with his here. family or close friends to you know, send your regards after today's I, I did reach out to uh, the, a, a very close uh, f a friend of the, of the Carter family, a um, renowned pianist named uh, uh, David Osborne, mm -hmm. who actually played a, a pivotal role in inviting me to MC those two events. Oh. So I contacted David today, and uh, he's very sad, of course, and uh, he said something like, um, it's going to be a, a, a dark day in my life when we lose Jimmy. Wow. Yeah. But what a nice connection that you've been able to form over the years oh, and yeah. continue to do so. I'm so honored, so thrilled, so blessed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and thank you for sharing those moments uh, with uh, us. Thank you, yeah. yeah. All right.